How's it going guys? So today I'm just going to give you a quick uh, tutorial here on how to create chances when under pressure. Uh, pretty much since the patch has been released, I noticed that there's been a lot of uh, people pressing nowadays. Uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing. I actually prefer a fast paced game as opposed to like the sluggish bore first uh, this game was before. So with people pressing, I don't know, I find like the game is more open now. But anyways, I'm going to jump in. So the first thing I want to say is this. It makes no sense to try and create a ch uh, create chances against an opponent you don't really understand how they're defending. Because in order to attack, you have to understand the defense you're going up against. Is this person being passive, for example? Is this person pressing? Is this person just caught in passing lanes? You know, for the sake of this video, we're just going to restrict it to people who press. So when someone's pressing, what are they doing? They're coming at you, right? They're rushing at you, or sometimes they let the AI do the pressing while they try to call passing lanes, or vice versa. Whatever it is, you have little to no time. Now, what the average person is going to do here is rush the play. When the gameplay is good, by all means, rush the play. Has just rush it. It's fine because your passes are going to go immediately. Um, everything's just going to be clicking for you when the gameplay is good. When the gameplay is bad, though. If your player is not as agile, you try to make a first time pass, yeah, that could uh, that could be very bad. So what I want to tell you is this, if you're playing against someone who's pressing, just take a second before making the pass. Just literally take a second. Maybe take a first touch and then look around or maybe fake dribble or whatever it is. Another thing you have to understand is the reason why pressure is so... Uh, is such an effective tactic in this game sometimes not all the time is because it takes away space from you now You have to create that space now if you watch the video you see sometimes this guy just flooding at me and I basically forced a lot of passes. I, I wasn't playing my best in this game It's just like this guy is not really a good player either. Uh, this is division 2 not division 1. I got relegated so maybe that's why but He's decent, but he's not like the very best. But if you notice, like he's pressing me a lot and sometimes I just don't have space on me. So what I do is I go backwards. So that's key. Sometimes to go forwards, you just have to go backwards, especially against people who press. Now, what I like to do is I do the one, two tactic. So pretty much all you have to do is do a one, two pass to someone behind you. What this does is it makes the player who made the initial pass make the run. You guys know how one, two works. So. The guy making the run is a decoy. You're not passing to him. See here, I'm not passing to a top. That was just to make him run. That gives you space because what happens is they switch the cursor. And when you do that, right, depending on the defensive awareness of that player, they're going to track the run. Like the opponent has no power over that whatsoever. They're going to track the run. That makes the defensive line a bit distorted. That creates space for you and everything. Uh, if you're a very good player, I would say this is the time to use skill moves, drag backs, fake shots, all that good stuff. I don't do skills, so I'm not going to advise anyone to. But if you can do it, or you're a pro player watching this, I don't know why you'd be watching this, because you're probably better than I am. But if you're one of those players who can use skills, then by all means, do, do that. Just do that. But that's a very big tip in this game. You have to go backwards sometimes to go forwards. Just literally pass it back, send players on run. You can even trigger the run by yourself by tapping L1 to make them run. Um, it's very beneficial to have players with high work rates because they will make those runs at the right moment. High work rates plus high attacking positioning helps a lot. Another thing you have to uh, check is your tactics, right? Because I know there's some people like they just play with the same tactics from the beginning to the end. Now. My highest finish in weekend league is uh, weekend league is LA3. So what that means is at some point I've come against like top 100 players and I've lost to them. I've been able to beat some of them. You know that happens. But um, my highest finish is LA3. And what I realize is when I go against the top players, right? As soon as I score my first goal, just my first goal, the first thing they do is they hit the custom tactics right away. They don't even waste time. They hit custom tactics. And I found like most of the time after the pause, like after the game resumes. It gets significantly harder than it was before and if I score again they do it again so you have to understand you have three opportunities to change the game because you have you can only pause the game three times use it wisely change it to a wide formation change it to a narrow formation change it to whatever works but if you find like the game is being stiff there's no opportunities just change things up don't be afraid to change your tactics that's one thing I can say and another thing is when you're playing against constant press try to be calm you have to realize like constant pressure is a double-edged sword what this means is 
as uncomfortable and annoying as it can be for you, this opponent is also destroying his shape because the AI is going to go out of position. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing the opponent can do about it. They're going to go out of position just so they can cut passing lane sometimes. Now, you just have to find the holes. And if you feel like there is no space or like you can connect to pass, it's because you're probably rushing things. And when you start to think that way, the first thing you should do is just take a step back, relax, take it easy. Like, are, are you a pro? Are you playing against, like, are you playing for money? Like, why are you, why are you rushing things? Why are you being so nervous? Like, relax, chill, calm down. Because when you start rushing like that, like, it's good to rush. I rush a lot too. I like to go forward, but do it with a purpose in mind. Like, I make a lot of stupid passes in this game. Like, if you're watching, like, this game you're watching right now, it's, like, just the first half. But I make a lot of stupid passes because I'm rushing things. And that's why I put this here. This isn't my best game. I managed to win because your opponent isn't that good. But you get to see the things I'm doing wrong. I'm rushing a lot of things that I'm not supposed to. I should just take my time, you know? When you find, like, you're stuck like that, literally just take a step back and calm down. Do not play into their hands. Do not let your opponent detect, um dictate your play some players will try to bait you to make a pass some players will um, as soon as you make the first touch they pretend like they're running towards you and then they run to the person they anticipate you're going to make that pass to you can easily disrupt this flow of play by just literally taking a second doing a dribble dribble either backwards or forwards uh, what you find i do in this game is i make a lot of back passes but i'm not like being campy about it i'm making those back passes to buy space like i said earlier when you make back passes and those runs happen it literally creates space for you like it's actually magical how it works. So whenever you do a want to pass like that, that run the player makes, ignore that run. I mean, you can pass to that player if the person's open, but half the time, the AI is tracking the person or the player is tracking that run by themselves. So you always want to use that as a decoy and watch what your opponent does. If your opponent is rushing towards you, that's fine. It's creating the space because the AI is going to go after that run. So yeah, I'm just going to go over some of the key uh, points I made uh, Stay calm do not rush your game if you no, know, don't let don't get sucked into how the person wants you to play control the gameplay the way you want um, Check your tactics go backwards to go forwards. That's a key one and overall just try to enjoy the game even though it's broken Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye